What's the herps? I'm John, aka Maruka, and I hope you've got an umbrella ready, because there's a risk of rain. So, I've shown you three of the characters, the first three. Uh, I've unlocked a few more, so I'm going to scores and unlockables. We shall see all the things that I've done, achievements, all these wonderful things. Still a bunch more still to do. Some of them are either damn near impossible, or some of them are just I haven't been fortunate enough to do yet. Um, char characters, characters are the important ones. So, and for I can't remember if I gave you the requirements for them, so we shall go through them together now. To get the Enforcer, you must kill all three different bosses on the first level. To get the Bandit, you must beat the third stage. Uh, the other characters, which I'm going to work my way through and show you one by one at a time, uh, collect 15 monster logs. That's kind of a rarish drop from every monster. I imagine the bosses must be slightly more common than the other trash mobs, but yeah, there's a tiny chance of every killing anything that they will drop a log, which gives you a description of what they are. And by getting 15 different ones, you unlock the Huntress, which is just a keep playing kind of job. The Robot Janitor is hidden away in a crate in the final level, which is the cargo hold. And... There's boxes and crates all over, and one of them you can open, it has a janitor in it, and that is handy! Uh, and he's very much a melee class. There's a bunch of other other stuff hidden away around the game, for example, Free the Chain Creature, Acrid has... I found him on the underwater level, on level 3, So, but I have a feeling you might be able to find him on other levels, I can't be certain on that one though. Uh, he's a very cool character, I beat, that was the first character I beat the game with. So a beasty kind of horrible mutant creature thingy, I don't know what the heck it's supposed to be. It's got a melee attack and lots of poison dot type stuff going on. Sniper is for beating the game. I will show off the sniper, but bear in mind I do not like the sniper. The sniper is not a playstyle I approve of. It's just not me. I don't do sniping in any game in this game. I imagine you could play well with it, but I can't. So I'll show it, but I won't like it. The Engineer for purchasing 40 drones. Just keep buying drones, you'll get there eventually. That's a fun class. Engineer's fun, I'm not gonna lie. Clear a path for the survivor is another find a guy in a crate. There is a miner on the lava level, which usually pops up around level 4. Uh, if you get the lava level, there are, you sometimes, I, I believe it's in the bottom left of the map, according to various guides on Steam. And then you have to fight a boss kind of thing. Mini boss, perhaps, and then... Once that's done, you've got the miner available. And then the last one is the mercenary for beating game five times, which you can see down here at the bottom. And I have not done that yet. So, let us jump in with a new character you have not yet seen. Now, who to play, who to play? I'm going to go with Engineer, just because the Engineer is immensely fun. Huntress is the only other one, I've, other one other than Acrid that I've beaten the game with, but Engineer is fun, so we're going we're gonna to go do Engineer. So, Engineer... His primary ability is this mine, uh, shoot a bunch of, well not mines, but grenades I guess. He does have mines, which we do that with, and they're pretty beasty. And my control is given out, hooray, thank god. That always does that when I least need to. I really need to look at getting a less temperamental Xbox controller, or playing it with the keyboard, one of the two. Hello, and I can have a chest, that's useful. Uh, that's not so useful. Uh, we've also got this, which is fun, which is on like a five second cooldown, which is really short for how ludicrously powerful it is. And he also has a sentry gun, of which he can stack up to two. You can see the little numbers above the items at the bottom there. You can carry up to 15 mines at once, and you can carry two sentry guns at once. And once you deploy them... The mine's on like a three second cooldown, so when you when you deploy it, I can still deploy it, I can go beep beep beep, look, put these, and then it's still a three second cooldown, each of those will take three seconds to recharge, so every three seconds, I think it's about three seconds, that thing will tick up and go, whoop, have another mine, whoop, have another mine. The sentry gun is on about a, oh there's a boss, that's useful is on about a 30 second timer. So let's throw these guys down and throw mines everywhere. And fire this off. And see if we can't make a mess of this guy. There is a thing for killing a boss in under 15 seconds. Okay, I got that. Uh, I thought that would have been on the timer. I, cause that was like 17 seconds on the timer. 
But the boss was under 15. Hello! I like that. That's that's good. So it's 15 seconds from the moment the boss appears. And the boss usually appears at about 10 seconds, I think. Maybe a little bit sooner, but somewhere around that mark. I was thinking you'd have to make a really concerted effort to plan the mines out ahead of time. And I can pop that there and I'll just kill everything. That's not a bad place to leave that. Let's fire them there off. Yeah, it's... It's it's not a, it's not someone who... He doesn't fare well if you get up close and personal with stuff, but he's got loads of tricks and sneaky stuff up his sleeve like this. It's just fun to play, just being a just being a bit of a bastard and shooting stuff that can't hit you with missiles. They're not missiles, they are thermal harpoons is what they are called. And if you really wish, you can yell, MAN THE HARPOONS! And when you fire that, it's not required, but it's a lot of fun to do. Uh, let's put some mines down because there's a bunch of stuff there that wants blowing up. And six enemies to go, six enemies. Three of them are down there and I can't get to them without a jetpack. <laughs> oh, mines. Mines are so cool. And you, and you. You get exploded, and you get exploded, and you get exploded. I should probably buy some stuff. What can I buy? Uh, egg. I have an egg. Let's fire them off. Oh, and he's he's wrecked. Uh, yeah, I need to find some loot. I've got n like no loot out of this level. I'm level six and two items. It's not a great state of affairs. There's a chest that'll get me something. Ooh, and there's some stuff over there. Yeah, that's what we need before we forge onwards. Crowbar. Yeah, I won't say no to a crowbar. I don't know why. It's oh, hello. It's two items. Brilliant. I don't know why it's taking me so long to sort of realise this, but uh, there are like different classes of items. I was, like, something I only realised while I was browsing the item thing last night. It's uh, most of the items you'll get have the little white outline around. I mean, you can see them on the items I've got there. Four of them have a white outline. They're kind of the common ones. The they're not especially valuable. Is there anything else for me to buy or get or do or find? I don't. Unless I go use the shrine, I guess not too much. Where is he? He's miles away. Right. I'm taking far too long over this level. I really like to get onto level 2 before the timer goes ding dong. It's about to go ding dong. Quick! Six items. Seven items if you count. The two boxing gloves is good. So yeah, that'll do. Bungle. Cool. Mushrooms. So yeah, the items. Uh, you got four of them are the whites, which are the really common ones. Uh, green is like uncommon, I guess. And then there's... Red are the ones that you're like, whoa, that's nice when you get them. They're the pretty, pretty bloody powerful ones. Uh, but they're not too common. But they're all very nice to have. There's a there's an upgraded jetpack which I recently got, which I won't have seen yet. That's an amazing one to get. It's a proper jetpack. There's the rusty jetpack, which gives you a little bit of it gives you like reduced gravity and a little bit of extra jump height. There's a photon jetpack, which is a proper jetpack, and it's amazing! So, I hope I get one of them, then I can share that one off to you. That'd be amazing. Uh, where? I could really use a jetpack for getting around here, actually, come to think of it, because I... They're going somewhere, they're going to hit something. What you got? Um, yeah. Not sure how to get around most of this level. This is a bit weird. Uh, above that, you, above, above the red items, there's the orange items, which are your usable items, which are they press B on the pad or whatever it is on the keyboard to use. And then there are... A, there is one beyond that, I think, is it yellow? There are rare drops from bosses and they are insane is what they are. They're all ludicrously powerful and that usually means that I lose them almost immediately because I, I can't be trusted with anything. I got, I got into a bit of an argument on Reddit briefly about the utility of the Enforcer. Some people seem to be really really big fans of the Enforcer. Uh, I only know a few people playing the game and I've only the, of the LPs I watch only Milby has done Risk of Rain and General consensus is the Enforcer in that greater class, but some people really think it's amazing and they've been it's like, oh, I finished the game on the hardest difficulty using Enforcer. Apparently the trick is not to use that shield ability, 
the shield ability is not his strongest suit, apparently. So, lesson there. Don't use that. Because, uh, yeah, it's just the, the fact that the enemies can pretty much just walk behind you. It's, it almost makes it completely redundant. Everyone's saying, oh, just go put your back to a wall. But uh, try it. Enemies just literally walk behind you. There's, like, no point doing that. And then you're... Yeah, then you're in a, then you're in trouble, you know. See, the one problem that well, it's not a problem, it's just the way I play this class. This, the way I play this class is bad. Uh, firing the harpoons, manning the harpoons, in fact. Uh, well, you have to stand still to fire them, and if you're in a crowd, that's going to get you killed. What do I want to buy here? I have a crowbar. I'm not much a fan of the dice. Let's have the souls. Souls is good. So yeah, or orange for a usable item. And then I will also buy... Oh, a drone repair kit. That's really nice, but I don't have any drones, so... We'll have more eggs. Eggs are good. And... Okay, I'm not going to take my chances on that more than once, because that's probably going to end up being... That's a folly! Uh, there's a fun bunch of things around. I'm tempted to deploy the souls. Yeah, let's, let, let's do the souls. So that just, that just summons a ghost that will fight for me, for every enemy that's, you know, on the screen at the time. I think it's, it might even be in the level. I think it's on the screen, though. Uh, and then they will fight all the things for me. And I'm going to pop one of them down there. And how many mines have I got? Eight. just kind of don't want things to attack it. Well, I kind of do want them to attack it, but... I also want to keep it alive so it kills things. Healing items... I could use more of, yeah. NG, I think, needs to rely pretty well on healing items. Let's 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 get out of here. Oh, actually, the chest. Oh, no. um, let's have that. That's a healing item. That's a healing item that's... Okay. This is going... This is going... Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, yeah. I need, I, there's no way to deploy the harpoons from. If I stand still to deploy harpoons, I'm going to get ripped to shreds, so... Okay, can you, I can do that here. I can get him with that. And then we can summon the boss, because it's about dang time we did. Did that get the boss? I think I almost entirely got the boss. Where is he? Oh, I shouldn't have done that, so I went to put the mine down. I can use the mines to him against him to good effect. Because he's going to try and get me, so he'll come back down there. Oh yeah, look at that. Good hit, good hit. Uh, I don't think I'm going to survive this, actually. No. Uh, there we go, I'm down. So yeah, Engineer. Engineer, I feel, is like a really good team player. If you've got someone else who's like Acrid or the Huntress to kite things around, the Engineer can just sit and nuke things, but if you get a crowd... He's not good crowd control, unfortunately. He's a heavy hitter, but if, if he gets a lot of enemies on him, there's no good way to escape. He's got no mobility, uh, which I think is the problem. I think half the time I fire the harpoon because every other class has mobility bound to action three or shoulder bumper, whichever, whatever it's bound to. In, my, in the engineer's case, his harpoons are bound to the same button that does mobility for everyone else. So, he doesn't handle that one well. I'm going to go for another run, because that was a quick, short run. So let's let's try the Engineer again. See what we can find. Got to find something different. Oh, I didn't, I didn't check out what I found. I'll have to... Actually, it won't, tell, it won't tell me what I found yet anyway, so... It won't tell me what I found until I find it in the game, so... Keep an eye out for whatever that was that I just got. It looked like some sort of explosive launching type thing. Because, you know, there aren't many of those in the game. There's only the Mortar, and the ATG Missile, and the ATG Missile Mark II, and the Brilliant Behemoth, and... Oh, these things. <laughs> yeah, there's a real shortage of explosives around here, but... Hey, I might be wrong. It might not have been an explosive. It might have just looked like one. And certainly, Brilliant Behemoth, I love that thing. That's... It makes all of your attacks explode. I... I... I've played this game through so many times at this stage, or attempted to at any rate. I have no idea which bits you might, which weapons and tools and things you might or might not have seen at this stage, so 
You'll forgive me if I repeat myself on occasion, because I might be showing off the same things time and time again, just by virtue of how many bloody things there are to show off. Okay, so... I don't know why I did that. What I want to do is set some mines around here. And then do this. I did it, that did it. Oh, that's one I got last night for, from the Huntress. I've How I managed to get it, I don't know, but it's for getting the Huntress's attack speed up to 200%. I have no idea what modifies the Huntress's attack speed or anything. There are no clues, there's nothing in the game to suggest what does that. Uh, it was, I know, I think what made or break, made the difference, I guess. Uh, there is an item which increases your, hello. Shall we do some sentry guns? And one here. And uh, some harpoons. Yeah, let's just blow up all the things. I head down here and man the harpoons some more, and he's down! Yeah, this guy's great. They've got one sentry still standing. Uh, yeah, what made the difference is there's an item which improves your attack speed at low health. It might even have been that energy cell, was that? Attack faster at lower health. So, as I, as I die, I will attack faster, I guess. And that's pretty bloody critical to getting the hundreds of 200% attack speed, I guess. Near death, I imagine that gives you a hell of a boost. If there's anything else that makes a difference, I don't know what it is. So, someone will, someone will have to enlighten me on that score. Okay, I'm going to get out of here and man the harpoons. Oh, I only blew up one of you? Okay, fine. Oh, everything's spawning down here. Should I just drop one of these guys and... I keep, I keep trying to put, put mines, I've, I've blown them all somewhere else. I'm, I'm out of mines, thoroughly. Well, I have two now, I guess. Fine, I have two more. Yeah, that Huntress's Scarf that I picked up, that gives you a chance to evade attacks, which is kind of cool. I, I guess there's just a flat rate, uh, flat chance on any given attack that you will just not take damage from an attack, which is nice for survivability. I don't think it's ever going to particularly save your life specifically, but it'll just generally reduce the incoming damage, I guess for the most part. Okay, out of mines again. Right, what, what can I spend on now? This. Piggy bank, sure. That's money over time. That's an item, sure. That's healing, that's good. We're doing okay here. So let's... Tell you what, if I put that down, that should make things easy. Okay. Did I get them? Yes, move speed. Sweet. Like that. And the shrine's busted. Damn it. Broke the shrine. Everything breaks. What else is this to spend money on? I got $125. I'm not leaving here without with $125 in my pocket. So that's just gonna go to a trivial amount of XP. There's a there's a thing up there. What is this thing? A healing for some reason, the healing drone seems to be really common on the early levels. If, if you get a... well, of the specialized drones at any rate. Obviously the standard drone is the most common, but if you get a specialized drone, it usually seems to be the healing one. I can't say I much care for the healing one, just because it breaks so easily. Oh, there we go, we're onto easy now. Ding dong. Yeah, compared to every other drone, every other drone seems to be able to fend for itself. Well, of course, they are, they're other attack drones, but it, they fend for themselves and deal good damage and have reasonable health and whatnot, and just generally keep enemies at dead and at bay and stuff. And See, there's no way to easily evade his attacks. <sighs> but yeah, um, the healing drone, no, it just likes dying. What have we got there? 70 bucks to get that one. I cannot be certain, but I think the cost of chests may be tied to difficulty as well, so I think if you manage to go a bit faster, the chests are a bit cheaper as well, so it's not costing as much. Which would make sense, because that makes the game easier, because you're on an easier difficulty. It would make a lot of sense. I've got 15 mines, I should let's spend some. Come on, walk this way. You didn't die. There we go, now you're dead. 
shrines. I don't like buying shrines until I've got, like, just loads of money left over at the end and nothing to spend it on. Ooh, hi, there's a key. That's pretty much one of the best weapon, uh, weapons in the game. I mean, I've got the drone repair kit and I actually have drones this time, but if we can find a bunch of chests somewhere, this will be sweet. If you can manage to get this item into the last level, and I do hope one day to be able to show it off the last level to you. That looks promising, or ish. Okay, let's just do that. There we go. Open a chest without having to, well, open it. I didn't have to pay anything to open it. The last level has chests galore. It has freaking loads of them. In fact, there is one room which has like eight, maybe ten golden chests. I don't even know why they're golden. What the difference of the golden chest is, I don't have a clue. All I know is that that is the room you want to walk into with the explorer's key and open all the chests at once. The explorer's key just opens every chest. But these little ones that just have money and XP in them, the big ones, the really expensive five grand ones that don't seem to... I don't know why they're five grand, but there are chests in the game in the later levels that are five grand. It will open all of them. And you wish to do this because it's amazing. There's a boss, that's what we're after. This is what we came for. Hi. Let's do this. So, magma worm. Okay. Magma worm. My best bet here may just be, I guess, to keep moving. That's why I obviously stopped and stood still to do that, obviously. I'm just going to throw one of these guys down just to keep everything at bay. Throw some of these guys down. I'll do some damage to the guy. Could use a healing item right now. A healing usable item. Something like the... The foreign fruit is an excellent usable item if you can pick that one up. Because that heals 50% of your health and has like a 35 second cooldown. Which is pretty nice. Okay, so another sentry is going to have to go down there. Just keep stuff under wraps. I'm mostly just kiting stuff around until the timer runs out so I can fight the worm without having to deal with too many mobs right now. Because if I try and deal with the magma worm and everything else, that's gonna be a bad time. Oh, this, this, oh god, this room. If you end up in this room, the below, not the one I'm on, but the bit below, that can get overwhelmed with enemies if you'd let those little white guys spawn, and they're filling up now. And 90 seconds is up. Enemies stop spawning. We are at 64. Right, 64 enemies to fight. Okay, so I'm gonna throw... I'm gonna throw a sentry down, I think. And just clear these guys out. See if I can. I don't know. What am I gonna do? Let's put some mines down. Okay. That's. I can kill that. Right. I can. F I can just fight the worm now. Where is he? Okay. The mines I shoot do some pretty nice damage, actually. Just cause. Just cause there's so many of them. Okay. okay, I'm taking a lot of damage now. That's not good. It's not. Ow, that's really not good. Healing drone, save me! Slightly. Um. I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm just running away mostly. I've got, I've got the fungus. If I could just sort of, yeah, if I, I could get the healing fungus to do its thing. And if you want to come back down through that, yeah, that didn't do anything. And that didn't go anywhere near where the worm was. Can I get him? Yes! Oh, that's good. Infusion, that's a great one. So I, I increase my maximum health every time I kill an enemy. Like that. See a little red orb. Yeah, maximum health. Okay, and now let's keep you guys distracted with a sentry gun. Can we do that? We can, I think. Hopefully. Right. And I'll just pummel these guys with the old grenades until they destroy that. And now I'm in trouble. Whew. Okay, 28. 28 to go. 
And I've scattered them all over the level, I'm very much aware of this. That's not great, but that's what I've done. So this is just a hunting now. Let's pop some mines down there. If we do that, they'll all explode. Like good little rock golems. Where are, they? are there any up here? I bet there'll be some up here. If there are any up here, it'll be worth checking out. Ooh, there's a good drone up there. That'd be worth having. Ah, hang on. You die. Okay. We're going up here and we're going to fight these guys. These guys... These guys want a sentry gun and a bunch of mines. And some harpoons to be manned. We'll man them. And that's a... Oh, it's a missile drone! That's a great kind of drone. I like missile drones. Missile drones just kind of hover around the area and don't really... They just do loads of damage without ever needing to get in combat. It's great. Okay. Top floor's done. Mostly. I guess. What's still alive? You're still alive! Hi. Do you want to explode? The problem with doing my uh, kiting strategy is it's easier cleanup, but it takes ages and of course that means more difficulty, so... Whether it's the best strategy or not, I don't know. Possibly not. What are we up to? We are up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 items. That's not too awful. I got me nothing. I got me a... no, I don't want that. I got me nothing. I can't afford another one. That's... yeah, that's that. 15 enemies? Where are 15 enemies? I've not seen 15 enemies. Is, there aren't that many left in this level. Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got a key for that guy. Yep. Oh, yes! Handbag! Or manbag. Not sure which. Probably a handbag. That is, it's a purse, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, right. Mines everywhere! Sentry guns going up. Harpoons going out. Okay. Alright, oh, they, they died. They died okay. They weren't too bad. I can live with that. Yeah, okay. I, I concede NG is good at crowd control if you've got a lot of mines. But I can imagine, especially at higher difficulties and later levels. It'd be very, very easy just to end up... Oh, I can afford that shrine again, huh. It would be very, very easy to end up in a position wherein... Let's just go through the teleport, shall we? Wherein you just blow all the mines on killing everything and then after that... Yeah. Oh, now... Oh, man, I want to open that one. It's a $300 crate, but my key's on cooldown. It'd be very easy to end, uh, just go through all mines and then you've got to wait. Well... However long, 30, 40 seconds, not sure exactly, to get all your mines back. Let's, let's watch this, hang on. So, at 14, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, it's about 5 seconds, I guess, then. Uh, not more than I'd like. Right. Oh, that's a great one! I like that one! I'm glad I waited to open that one. Because... That makes ghosts. Happy ghosts everywhere. Ghosts for everyone! Let's have some ghosts. You, make some ghosts. Fight the enemies. There we go. See? There's a ghost that's going to go fight this guy for us now. I really shouldn't be hanging around here. I should just make a move. Incidentally, Frozen Tundra? I don't like Frozen Tundra. I, it's just, this is the most horrible level. It really is. Um... It's... I think I think it's just how far you've got to walk to get from one side to the other, because it's set in a valley. It's, fr it's frozen valley, isn't it, not tundra? If you climb up one side, as we do, then it's dang near impossible to get to the other side without going right along the bottom of the valley. Sometimes, if you're really lucky, the random level generation will say, Oh, never mind. Here, have a, have a pa path that goes across. There's this bridge up top, up here. I'm going to get to this bridge in a moment. When we get to the top, when we climb all this way up, yeah. Sometimes, the game, if it's really, really nice... I want I want that chest. <laughs> That's why I'm hanging around here. Actually, there was a... 
Now, where's the other chest? The, no, the other chest was miles back. I'm not going to be able to open them both, am I? Damn it. I need to kill something just to get the money to open that guy. And yeah, there we go. There's some money. Come to me. Oh, my music is electric. So that's going to be random electric attacks to things on occasion. Which is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a nice chest. Can we see any others? Can we open a bunch at once? Yes, yes we can. Yep, like that. So we're going to have Will-O-The-Wisp. And we are going to head up there, kill this sucker. And we're going to grab a handbag. Because that's just how we roll. Handbags, yeah. Oh, it opened that as well? Oh, it opened them for miles around. See? The key is one of the best weapons in the game. It's amazing! I... yeah, I don't have any mobility. I shouldn't be trying to do that. Okay, so we're gonna try and find the boss if we don't get killed by this guy first. I'm gonna let him deal with that. And oh look, the bridge is out. Of course it is, because the bridge is always out! Oh god. Ay ay ay! Ouch. Uh... Drone, please heal me. What's making out? Oh, is that my sentry gun that's having a go at him? That, that won't last much longer. Well, Sprite, that's a bit weird that you can hear it from so far away. The sentry gun is still making sentry gun noise when I'm on the other bloody side of the map. Well, it stopped. Must be dead. So yeah, you know how I had to climb up the other side? Now I've got to climb up this side. Ooh, there's a chest. I can afford the chest. What I'm wondering is if I hang around four seconds, will it be worth my cracking it open from here? Dunno. I'm gonna try it. Oh yeah, crowbar. Okay. Eh, not my favourite weapon, but I won't say no to it, you know. Bonus damage against... It's bonus damage against enemies that are over 80% health is how that one works. You, I think, I don't know if it's critical or it's just extra damage, but... Enemies over 80%, so that's good against bosses, it ain't half bad against bosses, but against everything else, it just kind of almost seems like it's not, does, doesn't seem to last long enough to make a difference. Ah, see, there's a really good chest there, it's probably the one I should have opened. Oh, here's the, here's the boss man, hi boss man. Right, let's throw down one of you, fire some of them off, and let's throw down all the mines in the world. Under your feet. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, not in too bad. Uh, although my healing drone's almost out. Uh, more, more missiles, more harpoons. Harpoons good. How much health? Have I? I'm doing okay for health somehow. I don't know how, but somehow I am. Yes. There's my healing dr healing drone. That's down. I now I'm nearly dead. Oh god, oh god, run away, run away, run the heck away. Drop drop a turret. Okay, he's down. He's down. But I that really doesn't help my case. I'm still so close to dying here. I'll have that, because he's gonna heal me. No. Ah oh. Yeah, see? Crowds. Crowds suck. Right. <laughs> and that, folks, that folks is the engineer. One of these days, I'm going to beat this game on camera, but not today. So, thank you very much for watching. That has been The Engineer. I shall see you next time.